We have seen a lot of pictures of Russians placing explosive reactive armor on their BTRs and BMPs since the start of the war, even on trucks. And this isn't new, both sides have done this before since the start of the civil war in 2014. But this is actually a horrible idea, and it is actually worse to put ERA on these kind of vehicles than leaving them the way they are. That is because explosive reactive armor, well, explodes. In most cases, it is the Contact 1 blocks being placed on these vehicles. Contact 1 is meant to degrade the penetration of hollow charge munitions, such as RPG rockets or ATGMs. The problem is that it mostly never completely stops them. It is meant to degrade their penetration enough for the actual armor of a tank to stop whatever is left after the rocket or missile has been affected by the ERA. Armor of a BTR or BMP would simply not be enough to stop the degraded jet of whatever hit the ERA block. It is simply too thin. Just enough to stop small arms fire, in most cases not even 50 BMG. Russians actually tested this before and found out that the detonated ERA makes a huge hole on a BMP or BTR after exploding, which would result in a lot of fragmentation, killing or injuring the crew or destroying vital components of the vehicle. That is on top of not actually stopping the hollow charge to hit the vehicle, so you have an actual full penetration of the vehicle followed by a lot of fragmentation from the actual armor, drastically increasing the damage the hit would have actually done to the vehicle. Now, what is the actual limit to the thickness that the ERA can be placed on? Well, we do know the roof armor of Russian and Ukrainian tanks is around 40mm, and we also know the ERA does not have any negative effects on this area other than leaving an imprint. So putting ERA on vehicles with armor of such thickness should be fine, like putting ERA on the sides of Leopard 1, for example. There are actually ERAs made for light vehicles. The most notable one is Forest 24, which is usually advertised for BMP3, but can be placed on other vehicles, including tanks. It is also light enough of an upgrade for the BMP that it still retains its amphibious capabilities. On top of that, it provides excellent protection even against tandem-shaped heat, where it managed to almost completely stop a rocket from an RPG-29, which has 750mm of penetration. This ERA is also immune to 12.7 and 14.5mm shots, that is, it would not detonate when hit by them, and provides enough thickness to prevent them from actually penetrating the BMP. The problem is that, well, Russians are just not making it. They have advertised it in the past, even recently, but so far it has not been equipped on any vehicle in this conflict, or any vehicle in active service for that matter. And no, the ERA boxes we have seen on Russian tanks are not Forest 24, they are Forest 22, and work in a different way. There have been attempts to develop ERA for light vehicles for a while, in both Russia and Ukraine, but so far Forest 24 seems to be the only one to actually go out of the development phase. Contact 3 was one of those attempts, and visually it looks identical to Contact 1, but it has never been adopted. So if you see ERA mounted on top of a light vehicle, you'll know that whoever did that is not going to have a good time. That would be all. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.